So someone wrote in an anonymous forum asking lawyers questions that we have an open investigation with CPS. We have already interviewed with them and allowed them into our home. They have put a hair follicle test and urine test in place for me. The allegations are that I am a negligent mother as my newborn tested positive for marijuana. What would happen if the hair follicle test came back positive for marijuana? We are in Texas. How does a baby test positive for marijuana? It's a problem. Yeah, big problem. And they need to get a lawyer immediately. There's a good chance that they're going to have their parental rights terminated. Oh, yeah. Some people think that marijuana in Texas is no big deal anymore. It is. It's still a big deal. It's still illegal statewide. In some aspects, it's legal. In some aspects, it's not. And you have to be able to prove it. It's a very delicate, difficult thing to prove. It's not impossible. <laughs> and a good lawyer can probably help them. But they need to have a good lawyer. The other thing is, if you're pregnant, don't smoke weed. Don't eat weed. Don't have anything to do with weed. It's not good. So is she trying to state that she didn't know her baby had marijuana in her system? Or? I don't know. Huh. And, and CPS can remove that child and they can terminate her parental rights and take that child away. Well, you know, in a a hospital when you have a baby and they test the baby Mm -hmm. because they do a bunch of tests on them. If the baby has drugs in their system, they won't release that child to them. That's correct. So if this is later on and this baby's now got so weird. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. I mean, if babies are born on drugs, they probably need to be taken away from the mother. Oh Yeah. Under the Texas Family Code, it's grounds for it's, termination of the parent-child relationship. It's terrible. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen the videos of babies coming off that stuff. It's horrible. It's a nightmare. Yeah. It's the worst thing in the world. My cousin actually got custody of a one of her cousins, had a baby on drugs, and CPS took the baby away and like went to family, and she she was like, I'll take her. And then they recently, like CPS just recently did the adoption for them. But yeah. The little girl's like so tiny. She's like two, but weighs tiny. like, she weighs like 18 pounds. Like she's so tiny. Well, in some aspects there are shortages, in some aspects there's not, but of parents to foster kids in that type of situation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there, but there are parents that are willing to do that. Rather than abort the child, still have the baby. Go to churches like our church that we go to, Lake Point. They have a whole adoption and fostering program. Mm-hmm. They yeah. actually teach people how to do it. They go through all the processes with them. Yeah. And so, please support the adoption agencies and the ones, especially through churches. You don't have to abort your child. Please don't abort your child. And there's a great episode with Kyle Mattis that we did on this show about an adoption success story, please watch that. And please look how well it worked for Kyle. Mm -hmm. And please don't abort your child. This is the Lawyer Dana Show.